taking a break from all the current series and we're going to play a game this has real Prince music in it it's called Adult Cream's Top 10 Favourite Prince Songs but we're going to do this a little different we're going to choose out of 10 songs okay we're going to choose my 5 favourite commercially released songs so these are any songs that have appeared on any official Prince release basically that includes album songs, singles, other cuts, all sorts of shit out here pretty much like this and we're going to do five unreleased songs. How about that? Bootlegs, unreleased, groovy. All right, this is probably the one video where I am going to get a takedown, but who cares, you know what I mean? Try and watch it while you can. As you can see, I mean, I need something to really revitalize my ratings. Okay, let's talk about um, how I rate songs, first of all. Okay, first of all, every Prince album I've got, basically what I do is I take every single song on the album, and I give it a mark from 1 to 10 out of 10. Okay, I don't use any half numbers or part numbers, I use whole numbers. So a song's either a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Basically, um, at the moment, I've done most of the bootlegs I've got, which is about 500 songs, and I've done all of the studio albums right up to and including piano and a microphone. Okay, and yes, that is coming. Um, so, basically, there are 478 official songs. Of them, 75 of them have got 10 out of 10 so basically i'm going to say five songs okay if you don't hear the song you like basically um don't worry because there's 70 other songs that got 10 out of 10 and um basically all your favorites aren't going to be on here you might find that um first of all of my officially released songs four of the songs date from before 1988 so i just have to warn you of that and um all of them date from after 1980. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you my fifth favourite officially released song. And I'm going to play it for you now. I've got this um, little computer which will play some live Prince music. Okay, this is the song that got in fifth place. That's right, it's from 2010. Can you believe it? The song from 2010 made my top 10. Okay, the song is Future Soul Song. It was apparently a single. I just love the song. It's got beautiful, sexy vocals, as you can hear. This is 52-year-old Prince just laying it out on the line. This is a beautiful, beautiful song. This is totally worthy of its place. And, um, yeah, okay. Now we're going to skip across to my fifth favourite bootleg or unreleased song. Okay. This song believes to have dated from around about 1984-85. It was originally going to go on the Jill Jones album and it did. This is the Prince version. This song is amazing. You can be my baby, make me alive. Ow. For those of you not knowing what this wonderful song is, basically. It's all day, all night. It's a wonderful song. It was off the Jill Jones album. I just love the beat on it. I love the singing. It's just got that beautiful mid-80s feel to it. That's my number five unreleased jam. Okay. And by the way, every single song on this list, if anyone has to ask, is completely 10 out of 10. And probably realistically, probably 11 out of 10. I mean, these songs are all absolute epics. Okay, now we're going to hop across to my fourth favorite released song. Okay, this song's off Sign of the Times, and it's not a door, but here it is. Making sure I'm playing less than 18 seconds so I can't get a takedown. Fair use, very good companies. I want people to buy these songs. And as for the boots, well, at least um, put them out officially, then people will buy them. Beautiful gospel pleading vocals, I just love it. And the, the most clever thing about this track of 1987 Sign of the Times is you think he's singing about a woman, he's not, he's singing about God. It's just a beautiful song. That's my number four. Okay, my number four bootleg song. Okay, is this amazing thing here. This is a, this song could be called an opus. It's from the um, Aborted Dream Factory project. Here it is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, 14 seconds. Yep, here's some... And this is weird you know. Lisa, 
This part here is hilarious. Quirky lyrics, great singing, it's just a highlight of the 1986, you know, late revolution period. So number four, okay, now we're going to hop across to a number three officially released song. Okay, this song has always been one of my favourites. It was my number one until recently, but it's still an amazing song. It's one song that actually appears on two albums. Okay, the version I'm going to play for you here, this is the version that appears on the Black album. Some people say they can hear differences between Black and Love Sexy. I can't hear shit, basically. But here it goes. This is number three release song. So I'm just randomly touching it, so any pun... Isn't that just sexy and creamy? This is an amazing song. It's just creamy falsetto, really dirty lyrics, which I absolutely love. I mean, it's the type of song you want to have a shower after. I mean, it's an absolute fucking masterpiece. You get people like, hey, I didn't like Wintero and Love. It's a horrible song. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, I've liked Wintero and Love since about 1994. It's a great song. Okay, let's hop back into the world of bootlegs. Okay, and now the next bootleg I'm going to play for you, this song's number three bootleg song. I mean, it really should come out. I think Warner Brothers, Sony Music, who was doing this shit, put this shit out on an extended 1999. This song is amazing. It probably inspired the whole Purple Rain, Purple Movement. This is an incredible song. Okay, you're a true Prince fan if you've heard this, I've got a copy of this. Now, the, for most of my boots, I'm using two albums, Perfect Unreleased Prince, and this is um, Prince's Eye Vault, which is supposed to be released several times. It's the work, that type of thing, yep, so amazing stuff, you know what I mean? you got to be stiff if you don't like that song. Okay, let's move along to my number two favourite Prince song of all time. Okay, this song, it came off the 1988 Love Sexy album. It's a fan favourite. It's one of the few songs that's going to get any disagreement. It's an amazing song. He's basically, it's actually one of the few songs where Prince is suggesting bisexuality. He talks about if you ever needed a boy or a girl. I mean, why the hell would Prince want a boy? You know, but anyway, here we go. Isn't that sexy? The pleading in his vocal. <coughs> now that is an amazing song. It's Anesthesia, again, not released as a single. Don't tell me why. I mean, it should have been. Okay, an amazing song. I really love it. Hopefully you do too. Okay, now let's move across to number two, Bootleg Song. Okay, this song, okay, let me find it, um, I've already done that one, let me see, oh my god, I can't find this shit, okay. Alright, this number two song, I found it, this is probably the oldest song on the whole list, this song was recorded in 1982, again, it was one of the very first songs recorded for the whole Jill Jones project. The funny thing about the Jill Jones album was, Jill Jones, I think, met Prince around 1980 when he was on the Dirty Mind tour, she was a backing singer for Tina Marie, who was doing support for the early dates of the Dirty Mind tour. And um, basically she jumped across, she joined Prince, she sang with Prince, I mean, she probably had it off with Prince a few times. I like Jill Jones, she's very talented, you know, even though she looks white, she's actually half black. Um, some of you might remember Jill Jones from the um, Purple Rain video, she's the girl with the platinum blonde wig, who goes, Hey, why don't you watch where you're going? Hmm, do you think he'll, do you think the manager will be back? What's your name? Apollonia. Goes, and she's also the one who goes, Wendy and Lisa gave you, goes, Wendy and Lisa left you this. Did they? Well, do you think it's any good? And she goes, well, I liked it. You know, so Jill Jones, okay, this song is called Baby, You're a Trip, and it's just got the most amazing scream I've ever heard in a Prince song. I'm going to try and get to it. And this is the stuff Prince didn't release. I mean, that's just amazing, that scream. But believe me, my number one boot song coming up has got an even better scream. Well, I suppose it's not really a bootleg anymore, is it? Because it came out on last year's Purple Rain Deluxe. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to include it anyway. It might, you know, piss off the people at MPG and um, Sony a bit less. 
All right, like I said, watch the video quickly because there is a good chance this is going to get taken the fuck down. Okay, now, here we go. And well, I'm going to actually um, tease you guys a bit and actually you guys probably feel a bit cheated with my number one officially released song because I've just finished doing a big 17 minute video about how much I love the damn thing. Okay, so here we go, reprise edition, number one commercially released song is Adore. Listen to that church recordings. So there you are, number one song is Adore. Adore is an amazing song. I think the vocals are just absolute pure cream. You know, and I know I love using that word, it's funny, isn't it? I just adore it. I mean, it's creamy and I adore cream that song, okay? Alright, it's a great song. I mean, it's easily probably the most soulful song he ever wrote. I mean, it's sincere, it's full of passion. It's a technical masterpiece. I mean, he just blows people away. The only thing we're waiting for is state. I mean, if you want hints, you know, I mean, you're getting sick of silly people making videos, playing bootleg songs and things, you know. Um, remaster Sign of the Times. How hard is it? Remaster it. Remaster Adore, please. Even Prince himself said he wanted to know, wanted us to hear Adore and quadraphonic sound. All right. Okay, and finally, number one, bootleg song. Okay, this song, I've always loved this damn song, and basically the version I'm going to play for you is not the version that appeared on Purple Rain Deluxe. This is actually a bootleg version of the song. It's called Electric Intercourse, and this is the live mix. Here we go. And this is the main reason for it. Listen to the screen. Now you don't hear that scream on the um, Purple Rain Deluxe version, do you? But we'll play a bit more of it. There's, you guys seem to think I like screaming in sets. The piano playing. Don't you wanna make love? So there you are, number one bootleg song. What an amazing track. Just counting all those back down. Top five bootlegs. Number five was, oh god, I mean. Okay, number five was, I think it was um, All Day, All Night. Number four was All My Dreams. Number three was, I oh know, number four was Purple Music. Number three was All My Dreams. Number two was Baby Your Trip. Number one was Electric Intercourse. Top five um, main Prince songs. Okay, there was um, number five was Ventura. No, it wasn't actually. Number five was future soul song number four was um forever in my life number three was when tour in love number two was anesthesia and the number one song was adore okay i'm just going to tell you quickly the songs that nearly made the cut okay number six to ten on the boots number six was actually the grand progression amazing song number seven was a song called um the first version of um tick tick bang which is amazing it's really you know back and forth jerky keyboards Number eight would have been, of course, um, a song called, oh, what's that song called? Um, the Line, part one, which is from the um, Love Sexy era. Number nine bootleg song would definitely be um, Lust You Always. It's an amazing song. And number 10 boot song would have been this version of um, a song called 100 Miles Per Hour, which is just amazing. There's a Prince version. It's about seven and a half minutes long. It's like four minutes of instrumental coda. And highly commended is the song You Gotta Shake Something from the 1985 Flesh Sessions. Okay, and for the for the top 10 um, release songs, number 6, of course, is one of my old favourites, Do Me Baby. Number 7 is Uptown. Number 8 is um, DMSR. Number 9 is Damn You. And number 10 is Cream. So there you go. Okay, I'll just have some background music playing while I'm talking. Okay, so there you are. There's my top hits, and um, just finish up on a nice song for you. Um, some people might um, hear you are. This is um, Irresistible Bitch. You guys have got to hear this. And that's what I am, an irresistible bitch. Okay, back to normal recording next week. Hopefully, we'll get some views, and yeah. Here's my top 10 Prince songs. Mr. Ants, yours your pick of the week. This is my pick of the past 26 years. All right. 27. No, 27 years. Yeah, okay. Cool. Love you all. Subscribe. You know, again, watch the video before, you know, the evil record company takes his shit down. Okay. Fair use record company. 
okay, I'm not promoting bootlegs. I'm just saying, you know, they kind of ended up there before Prince died. You know, they kind of just fell into my lap. Sorry. <laughs>